So we start this hour in the occupied West Bank, where at least three Palestinians have been killed by Israeli troops inside a hospital in Jenin. So this is believed to be the moment when Israeli special forces dressed as doctors and nurses raided the main buildings in the Ibn Sina hospital. The Israeli military infiltrated the city during the night. Sirens have been sounded in Jenin now in expectation of more raids. Charles Stratford is in Ramallah. Charles, so we, we have this footage now, the CCTV footage. Run us through what happened. Well, we've been speaking to hospital staff there at the Ibn Sina medical facility in Jenin in the northern occupied West Bank. They're telling us that in the early hours of the morning, two civilian vehicles arrived at the hospital entrance. And those soldiers that you see in that, what we understand is CCTV footage, Israeli soldiers disguised as medical staff and seemingly civilians as well, um, heavily armed, came into the hospital obviously on a, on a hunt, uh, hunting for, for particular individuals, we understand, being treated inside the hospital. The staff say that at least one of the members, um, of the three men that were killed, have been, were being treated for injuries that had been incurred a couple of months ago during um, a previous Israeli army raid. Um, the, 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 the video footage is, is harrowing. We see members of, of this group, one actually carrying a wheelchair, another carrying what seems to be, supposed to be, uh, even a baby in some sort of cot, um, carrying their rifles, pointing at members of staff as they come through the hospital corridors, hunting for these members of the armed resistance. Now, there has been a statement put out by the, uh, the Janine Battalion. Now, this is, uh, well, the Janine Brigade. This comprises of various different groups of the armed resistance, including Hamas and Islamic Jihad. They're saying that uh, Mohammed Walid Jalumni was uh, a commander in Hamas, 27 years old. They're saying that um, Basel Ayman al Ghazawi was also a commander, we understand, in Islamic Jihad. Um, and uh, Mohammed Ayman Ghazawi. Was, uh, was, a, was another commander we also understand in Islamic Jihad. Now, this is the first time since October the 7th that we have seen such a thing happen. We've seen the Israeli army pretty much um, every night um, are very concerned about fighters um, hiding in these hospitals, and we've seen them, these hospitals uh, be surrounded on a number of occasions also come under attack. We visited a hospital in Janine only about a month ago, speaking to staff there. They showed us video footage of tear gas being fired inside these hospitals as the Israeli army tried to prevent medics and patients getting inside these medical facilities. But, of course, this is a civilian medical institution, and there are many people inside this hospital who are being treated for illnesses um, and injuries that have been incurred during these nightly raids. Now, the Israeli army has put a statement out. Um, I'll just read it to you, some of the things they've said. They've said that a Hamas terrorist cell that was inside the Ibn Sina hospital in Jenin had planned to carry out a terror attack in the immediate period had been neutralised. It goes on to say that uh, Mohammed Jalamne, one of those killed, 27-year-old, had contacts, according to this statement, with Hamas, what it describes as headquarters abroad. It's unclear as to what it's referring to there. He's, uh, the statement says that uh, Jalamne had transferred weapons and ammunition to what it describes as terrorists in order to promote the sh shooting attacks and planned a raid inspired by the October the 7th Hamas attacks inside Israel. And it goes on to condemn um, what it describes as terrorists of using civilian um, institutions and facilities as, uh, as shields to, to avoid, obviously, being arrested. Of course, Jenin has been targeted time and time and time again over the last four months. Many people inside Jenin killed, thousands potentially up to thousands are arrested inside the city. But it shows you the determination now and the brazen focus, if you like, uh, of what seem to be Israeli special forces in carrying out their mission, determined now to, 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 to find these commanders of the armed resistance and to take them out. But can, one can only imagine how terrified 
The other patients and the hospital staff inside that hospital mm. are as this raid happened. There has been a statement by the Palestinian Authority as well, the Palestinian Health Ministry, um, and that statement, I'll read you that, it says, we call on the United Nations and international institutions to provide protection for treatment um, and ambulance centres immediately. Um, mm. So, yeah, uh, this is a very worrying development because, of course, there are hospitals um, treating wounded right the way across the, uh, the occupied West Bank. Um, as these raids, these nightly raids continue, these three latest deaths mean now that uh, 382 Palestinians have been killed since October the 7th in these nightly and sometimes daily um, Israeli army attacks right the way across the occupied territories here. And, and Charles, can I just get you to repeat who was killed according to, uh, on the one hand, the armed groups in Janine and on the other hand, the IDF. The IDF saying they targeted a Hamas terror cell uh, the Janin Brigade saying it was at least two of them were Islamic Jihad? That's according to our understanding, yes. At least two of the killed, according to the Janin Brigades, were members of Islamic Jihad, and there was one Hamas commander killed. Uh, the Israelis are putting special focus on this man, Mohammed Jalamne, who they say was a, a Hamas commander, 27 years old, and who, who they accuse of, of potentially planning a, an attack um, inspired by the October the 7th attacks. But it's important to recognise that um, this, this group known as the Janine Brigade, they are comprised of various different armed resistance groups, including Islamic Jihad, including Hamas, including, including others. Um, but as I say, um, at least one of those three killed was being treated for injuries that had been incurred, um, suffered during a previous raid around two months ago. And it seems as if two other members of the armed resistance groups were, were with him when this attack happened. And it, it, indeed, the staff say that um, the, the two other men were, were literally sitting at his bedside as these, uh, these special forces, seemingly special forces, disguised, came into the ward and, and shot all three dead. Uh, Charles Stratford reporting from Ramallah in the occupied West Bank. Thank you very much.